Hello and welcome to Informatica support videos. This is Sushma Reddy. Today we will see how to update a B2B data exchange profile parameter using DX increment transformation. So let's directly go to the demo where I'll show you how this can be achieved. To achieve this you will need to have a mapping which will have DX increment transformation which will increment the workflow parameters on the read of every file which is placed in the endpoint location. So this is the mapping which I am having and this is the DX increment transformation. So here you can provide the ports and uh, whatever the values you would like to increment. So increment DX parameter key will be the value which you need to increment that is control number which I am incrementing and the value which I'll be increasing by which is 10 so the control number value gets increased by value 10 every time the file is placed in the endpoint so the for corresponding mapping we will have to create the workflow and provide the concern uh, required uh, connections information so if you are having a real time then you need to provide your JMS and JNDA connections for your source and target respectively once the workflows has been created, you need to export these workflows from the power center location and place it into an accessible location and import them into DX console. So once it is exported, you need to import the workflow using new workflow option and provide the name if it is a real time batch workflow or Java choose the option as it is we are using as a real time so I'll be using a real time workflow and choose the location where the file is placed I have already uploaded the workflow so this is the workflow which I have exported and import into DX console for this workflow we will be creating the profiles so again I have already created one pr profile in house so the profile name I'm not providing any partner and account you can provide as per your requirement and choose the workflow name from the list this workflow name has to appear once it is being imported into DX console and this is the uh, the status is been enabled you can see the workflow parameters which we will be updating but I'm highlighting on updating the value of control number after the profile creation now you need to create an endpoint for the profile where the, you can provide the location the file will be placed I'll be creating a file receive uh, endpoint the name of the endpoint again I'm not providing any partner and account you can provide based on your requirement the status is enabled and this is the root directory where the file uh, endpoint location is present and incoming file will be placed within this p this path so I am providing uh, the pattern as star I can pick up any file with any pattern and I am providing the attaching the profile which I have created that is DX increment now go to the location in your Unix directory or concern directory where you need to place the file I'll be placing the file c.txt so once this is placed go ahead and run the work as it is a real time workflow you need to start the workflow manually uh, if it is a batch it will pick up once the file is placed in the endpoint location so the workflow is being started so the file is picked up now let's see in the DX console if the value is if the event is triggered and the values have been changed so the event is triggered and you can see it is still running uh, let's see let's go to profiles and verify if the value is been incremented yes we can see the control number value which is been incremented by value 10 so earlier it was 10 so the value gets increased by 10 plus 10 so it is increased to value 20 so once you place the file in the DX endpoint when the data exchange uh, then the data exchange uh, processes it successfully 
it will increment the workflow parameter value by the dx value which is set in the mapping so as I told you I had set the dx value as 10 it is increasing the value to 10 more plus so it is showing it as 20 so this is how you can achieve uh, uh, how to increment the dx uh, uh, dx parameter using the dx transformation and there is a reference to a KB KB article the KB article number is 15695 which you will be seeing in the KB articles we would like to hear from you you can uh, write to us at uh, support videos at informatica.com you can tweet us at twitter.com info support and also provide your feedback at youtube user info support Thank you.